Now, if I go back in the browser and refresh the page, none of the queries are executed. But when I do search for them, they are executed and return the results. Same for the consultant and the mechanic. There are three different ways we can pass data to our Inertia.js responses. Let's go over them and see what are the advantages and when we should reach for one option over the other. Here we have a basic page component receiving consultants and mechanics as props, which are used by these two searchable select inputs. If we take a look inside the controller, we see the default way of passing data to our components. These queries are executed every time we request the endpoint that calls this particular action. The keyword here is every time. So if we go back to the browser and open Laravel debug bar, this is just a handy package where you can see the executed database queries, number of models loaded and other useful information. You'll find the link to the package in the description. If we open the queries tab and refresh the page, we can see the queries that were executed. So we have this one, which is for the authenticated user and these two to grab the mechanics and the consultants. Now, if I go ahead and search for a consultant, we can see that both queries are executed. For performance reasons, it would be great if we could only execute the query we need, and we can. All we have to do is to wrap our queries within a closure and make sure we are submitting a partial request when searching for consultants and mechanics. So step one, wrap both queries within a closure. That returns the query. Same here. And step two, make sure we are submitting a partial request. And to do that, we need to pass the only option key to our inertia config. So only, and here we are searching for mechanics. And here we have consultants. Now, if we go back in the browser and refresh, both queries will be executed on first load, but subsequent partial requests will only evaluate the props we specified in our only option array. So if I search for a mechanic, only the mechanic query will execute. If I search for a consultant, only the consultant query will be executed. But what if I only want to evaluate these props only on partial requests? Say this consultant field is optional. It wouldn't make sense to load the consultants on the first page load. How can we make it such the query is only executed on partial requests? So only when we specifically request it. We can do that by calling the inertia lazy method. So we'll grab this and say inertia lazy and then pass in our callback. And same here. Pass in the callback and we'll still need to make sure that we are sending a partial request where we specifically ask for the consultant's prop. Now, if I go back in the browser and refresh the page, none of the queries are executed. But when I do search for them, they are executed and return the results. Same for the consultant and the mechanic. Isn't that nice? So let's do a recap. These queries are always executed. So both on first page load and partial requests. These two are executed on first load and partial requests only when asked for. So by using the only option key. And these last two are only executed on partial requests when asked for. So these two are not executed on first page load and are very useful whenever you are dealing with optional data. And that's it. These are the three ways you can pass data to your Inertia.js components. If you found this useful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and click the bell button. Bye.